Put a check mark right there. Over halfway done. Not too painful so far, hopefully. What about the network layer? Layer three. That's a tough one to make. Let's make sure we can do that without making a mess. There we go. Perfect layer three. So network layer, what do we have now? Management of connections across the network. Network layer is where we're gonna be able to understand how to create the actual structures that are gonna allow us to connect and manage those connections across something called a network. Well, a network is something we understand. A network is gonna be a connection that takes place from one machine connecting to a passenger way of some kind, some sort of communication pathway that lets us talk to and interact with other machines whatever those machines are. Could be one, could be five, could be a million. Depends on the size of the network, the topology, and the type of network we're talking about. Whatever that is, the network layer, is gonna help govern that transaction and that interaction. It's gonna work in partnership with the session and the transport layer to accept the package of data that the application layer and the presentation layer took care of and put into the rules are structured along the rules of the session layer, put into the box at the transport layer. The network layer is now going to manage all that and get that teed up and more or less set up so that we can send it. Then we're going to move down to the data link layer. Put a check mark there. Data link layer. Layer two, got a little flourish on the end of that. Look at that, that's real nice. Layer two, the data link layer, what's called the DL or data link layer. Now the data link layer is kind of interesting. We need to put a little... Uh, highlight going on here and I'm going to put a little different color in here so bear with me here second let's choose something that will work and I'm going to change pens here for just a minute and I'm going to focus on the fact whoop we didn't change colors hold on thought we changed colors we're going to go ahead we're going to focus on the LLC and Mac sublayers right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two little lines that come out of here. And on one of them at the top one, we're gonna put logical link control, which is what LLC stands for. On the bottom one, we're gonna put Mac. Media access control is in Mac address, which is where the Mac address comes from right there. And so when we do all that, what we're gonna be able to see is that the data link layer it's actually the only layer that has sublayers. It's the only layer that actually gives us two distinct sublayers of functionality. And in the data link layer, reliable data delivery includes LLC, logical link control, error control and correction is what LLC is all about, and the MAC sublayer, media access control, MAC address. So at the data link layer, we're doing a final error control and correction check. We're going to bolt on the back end of that data packet and put in the CRC, the cyclical redundancy check, the checksum, and all the other things that are going to safeguard the data, the integrity and the structure as we send it down the wire. I'm going to draw you a picture of that data packet in a minute and show you what I mean. We're going to have a MAC address. We're going to attach a unique identifier. It's going to be made up of six groups of two character alphanumeric digits. It's going to represent this machine's network interface uniquely. We're going to talk about that and see how we get that. Both those things happen at the data link layer. So we're going to have all that going on right here. Let's put a check mark next to that. That leaves us with layer number one, the physical layer. Layer number one is where we see physical characteristics of the network media. This is where we connect the data, all the stuff we've been doing and all the other layers, to the actual wire to the network card and ultimately to the network cable or wirelessly out into the connection of some sort that ultimately leads to a network. And this is how we share information and how we send it out of our system across the wire to another machine somewhere else, whatever that other machine is. Remember that machine connection is governed by the session transport and network layers, right? So we're going to be able to use that information to connect to another machine. So the physical layer it's all about the actual carrying capacity, the network card, the cable, and all the infrastructure that's set up to manage physical connectivity inside the system. That's what we're dealing with. So put a check there. So we've done some things. We've talked about the different layers. We have deconstructed, walked down through the model, taking a data request at the top and allowing us to figure out how to decompose it into ultimately a packet that's going to be sent out on the wire. 